So tonight here on the Fox lot, Nightmares is presenting the penultimate episode of season one. And um, I mean, this isn't going to go up before the episode airs, so we don't have to worry about spoiling anything. Oh. And so your character is currently possessed. Mm. And um, I have to ask, you know, because I've seen the episode and it looks like you were having a lot of fun. Was I wrong? It's a little bit fun to be possessed, <laughs> yes, I have to admit. That was, yeah, I mean, that, that was an appealing part of this whole thing was that uh, uh, we were going to mislead people in the beginning, and, uh, and I'm just the concerned mother, but then, uh-oh, it's all my fault, and then, oops. I get possessed. Yeah. Sorry, Chris McNeil. Uh oh. I know. I know. I loved that scene. It was so much fun. <laughs> It was fun to watch. I, well, so I was at the TCA presentation uh, this summer, and we'd only seen the pilot at that point. Yes. And um, I, I heard you and Jeremy had so many interesting things to say, but one of the things that I wanted to bring up, because someone in the audience asked you about horror movies and genre movies, yes. and you had said, you know, I'm a fan of them. I like doing them. But the movies that you are associated with in the genre, I feel like they have so much heart to them, and that's why I love horror movies, and I think. But oh, yeah. what is it about, about horror that you Love. Yeah. Well, well, I like um, horror movies that are s seriously affecting, not the jumpy scare mm -hmm. kind, um, or merely uh, slasher kind. The kind that that are just uh, brutalizing people. Are, I I don't I don't enjoy. But the the ones that really get you psychologically are great. And you know, when I was a kid or younger, um, like. Rosemary's Baby, or or The Omen, or The Exorcist, of course, uh, scarred me for life. Uh, <laughs> you know that that's a, those are great, great, great movies. Um, something that I've really loved about The Exorcist this season has been it's really in a lot of ways a story about moms and daughters. Right. So many different generation moms and daughters, and we're seeing a lot of that in horror now, just in general, The Babadook and The Conjuring and so many things. Right. But specific to The Exorcist, was that something that was interesting to you? The because in a way you're kind of you we see your relationship with your mother, mm -hmm. and then we see your relationship with your daughters. Mm -hmm. There's a lot there's a lot of real family stuff going on here with a very scary backdrop. I found all of that stuff, all of that stuff fascinating. Um, and, uh, you know, w w there's always been movies and stories about the sins of the father visiting on the son, and, and now, you know, it's more, it's more about the sins of the mother causing, you know, this horrific thing to happen to my daughter and, uh, you know, all the guilt and, and everything you feel in that, in that. So, uh, yeah, I loved, I loved all of that. Yeah. Episode nine ends. The family knows. And uh, your character knows that they know, yep. and uh, one of the priests knows, and it again ends on a cliffhanger, which is so not where I thought this. Yes. <laughs> going. So what can what can they expect from the finale? I love that there were so many episodes in these ten that are cliffhangers, like oh my god, now what's gonna happen? And shocks, and uh, uh, it's it's so fun to see uh, Twitter after. An episode like that ends. We were like, "WTF? Oh my god!" Uh, so, well, things will be resolved in ten. Uh, it will, um, you know, we got to figure out what's going to happen to my character. You know, I'm I'm possessed. Is it ever going to be possible to get this out of me? You know, it's it seems like this demon is determined uh, from since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. To, to for us to be um, integrated and and uh, and it's supposed to be impossible once you're actually integrated to get the demon out. Um, so we'll find out if it's impossible or not. Ooh. You know, you know that the, you know that Father Tomas is going to want to try to do it, but oh boy. I'm very powerful. I don't doubt that at all. Gina, thank you for talking. It was so thank nice to you. meet you. Thank you. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.